of course we are concerned with the ongoing uh, uh, violence and uh, the uh, actions that are initiated and perpetrated by uh, Gaddafi and his regime against his own people. Uh, we are considering uh, a number of uh, ways that we can be uh, of assistance uh, with respect to that. Uh, but we are now focused on the humanitarian situation. Um, at President Obama's direction, USAID has chartered additional uh, civilian aircraft to help people from other countries who have fled Libya uh, to find their way home. We have two uh, United States C-130s on their way to Tunisia right now. Uh, we have sent humanitarian assistance teams to both border uh, regions with supplies like uh, water containers, blankets, uh, medical uh, supplies as well. We are closely coordinating with the United Nations and NGOs, and of course the United States, as uh, is, is usually the case, is providing a great deal of the resources to um, provide uh, humanitarian assistance. Uh, we know that um, uh, there is a, a lot of confusion on the ground uh, that is often difficult for us to uh, sort through to get to what uh, the actual uh, facts are, uh, but the United States remains uh, deeply concerned about the welfare of the Libyan people, uh, both the Libyans and those who are fleeing uh, Libya are the subject of our outreach and uh, wherever possible we will be directly providing uh, assistance. And we continue to consult with our NATO allies, our Arab partners, our UN uh, mission uh, to determine what are productive, constructive ways forward to try to deal with the situation we see developing there.